What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. This video is tips of the week. I wanna talk about payments more than anything in this video. Um, uh, let me show what I'm talking about real quick. The first question that I get is, uh, if, uh, if we don't have Square, um, can I use my credit card machine? Yes, you can. I mean, you don't, you don't have to. It's gonna be basically like this. So basically you have to enter the uh, what type of card and the last four digit manually that's the only difference um but let's uh let's talk about something else i'm talking about splitting payments so let's say if a customer want to pay cash and credit i get this a lot too um, when you click on pay invoice right here you can change the amount so let's say i want to pay 20 dollars cash and another thing right here so i'm trying to cover two things at once so 20 dollars so this is the amount that you want to make a payment i mean it's always when you click on pay invoice it's always automatically uh, filled in for the balance due but you can always change it and when you click on cash there's something called amount received let's say he gave you a 50 so his change is 30 so it's going to give you the change basically i get this a lot do not so a lot of customers kind of put the 50 right here now this is the amount uh, the payment amount so if you gave you 20 and 50 right here you put the 50 right here and click on pay invoice and now you click on make a payment again and say he's, he's paying by by check the rest so you can make uh the beauty of that you can make as many payment as you want uh when it comes to uh, making a payment and keep in mind if you made a mistake it's really simple just click on payment right here and you can delete the payment you can delete the payment and start all over again um changing the payment date too it's possible um let's say let's say you made a ten dollars cash and pay uh just click on payment right here and click on that payment and change the payment date to 15 let's say if we go back it's gonna be on the 15th so yes those are small things but it's very important making a payment um, it's very important to know like to split the payments you can have made like I said you can make as many payments as you want on an invoice uh, It's not a big deal. Uh, I did another thing I did is if you notice when you type in let's say uh, Say brake pads we change that to be able to uh, search inside of it So if I don't have to start with brake pads I can start with just booster now and it's gonna show me that so that's pretty cool um and when you click on it, it's going to take you directly to um to the uh, our the quantity and if even if you press enter right now it, it fills it so you can use the keyboard for the whole thing you don't need the mouse uh by doing by adding labels try to let's say break break pads and you can use the arrow to go down so use the arrow down to go down and then if you press enter it's going to fill it and you can let's say i say one of 1.6 and then press enter so those are two uh quick things but they're really important so um what else want to talk about um yeah i did talk about this last time the percentage um, let's go back to reports right here I did change the color of the current month, uh, month uh, for uh, for to be yellow, so you can distinguish. Because sometimes you can see, oh, my, what happened? So we know like this month is not ready. That's why it's yellow. Um, if you go back to switch to monthly right here. So yeah, that's what I was talking about. We change the colors right here. Um, uh, if you're in the green, you're good. But keep in mind that's not including. Uh, that's include parts labor and uh, that's it so this is based on parts labor only so if you're adding um, payroll to it or expenses so don't worry about this uh, our job is to get it like I said you, your job is to get on the average of each invoice between parts and labor your profit should be on 70 percent and up so if I go back as long as you're on the green I believe you're good let me see if we can find a month that uh, all right so something like that so you see you're in right here your cost is too much so it's going to show you colors colors it's very important because you don't have to look into it you can see there's something is wrong 
Um, but yeah, but if you are adding labor uh, like payroll in here or other expenses in this not showing, then don't worry about it. This this should only be based on your parts and labor. That's it. So your job is to get it to 65 and up to 70 percent. I think the safe way is 70 percent profit on each invoice. And to do so, just do your best right here when you're creating an, an estimate. Let's create an estimate real quick. Yeah, someone else was telling me there's a problem right here when he's selecting. Uh, if, you, if you click on hold on the vehicle right here, you can delete the vehicle. So keep that in mind. So we did add the restore, but somebody, like you can see how many vehicles were there. I just restore them. Um, so you can restore this vehicle, but somebody was said there was a problem here too, but we did, we did take care of it. Now it looks different now. We changed the color to blue right here. So you won't mix it up between deleting or selecting an existing estimate. Um, what else? I forget what I was talking about. <laughs> um, um, yes, I was talking about the percentage right here. So yeah, see, see the percentage. Make sure like your job is to try to get seventy percent and up on each uh, on each invoice. Obviously, you cannot do that when when the, when there's tires or when, or the parts is too expensive. But do your best. Why is that important? Um, the average month should be at seventy percent, and that's how you make money. So. Um, anyway, I appreciate you guys. Until next time, uh, thanks for watching.